When I run, I feel free. Movement is life. Movement is life. My name is Connie Sheehan, and I am the owner of Push Fitness. I have a fitness club that is welcome and open to everyone, but specifically geared toward women of color. I've often been teased. You don't know what you want to be when you grow up, and it's true. I have been in corporate for 25 plus years. I worked out at a fitness studio as a participant and the instructor was going out on maternity leave and they weren't quite sure what to do and I thought I could probably do that and I offered to teach the class and I was torn. I was in corporate, I was working, but I would come alive when I was teaching. So I made a decision, I think I need to do this. I think this is where I need to go when I grow up. Eight years ago, I decided that I was going to take a business class and I was going to open up my own business. And I took the class and I got scared. Really fear held me back and I decided maybe this isn't for me and I decided not to open my business. So I tucked that little seed away. I was running with my sister and I was talking about when I opened my club and she actually stopped while we were running and she looked at me and she said, either you start your business or you stop talking about it. You need to make a decision. And wow, she was right. And that day I decided every day I am going to do something toward opening my business. And at the end of the year, I should open my business or it's done. I'm not going to open my business. And a friend of mine said, as I'm thinking of things to do every day, have you heard of Women Venture? This might be a good option for you. So I called Women Venture and um, signed up for the guided business class. Of course, having a business plan was huge and a living business plan. But I think the benefits that I didn't realize I was going to get, I met some amazing women, participants in the class like myself, that I am still in contact with today and we get together and bounce ideas off of each other, but also the instructors, oh my gosh, mind-blowing women that and men that were assisting us and giving us ideas of what we can do with our business it was amazing and on Thanksgiving Day I opened up Push Fitness it's the best day it was the best day to start a business and to be so grateful to everybody including Women Venture <laughs> and a huge added benefit for me was to be a person of color and see women of color come to class. And I think come to class because they saw someone like them teaching the class. It's actually kind of staggering to see people who haven't worked out before come and now they're doing spin classes three days a week. They are able to get through a class and not be winded. They can lift 10 pound weights. And I had a part in that. It is amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> they do it and they crossed that barrier that they didn't think they could cross. I knew it, somewhere inside of them they knew it, but I just need to give them that push. Some people might call me a late bloomer. I didn't come to working out until I was in my late 20s. I ran my first marathon when I was in my 40s. I started my business when I was in my 50s. So yeah, I'm a late bloomer. <laughs>